Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Maria Castro contacted me and asked if I would review one of her books. Uh, the title of her books are Color My Moods, but they are all by Maria C Castro. I'm sorry. Um, and then it has uh, these pa these uh, illustrations were colored by Naomi Hansaker, Hansaker, not sure. Um, she has a lot of books out on Amazon, and I will link this one down below in the description. This is a thick book <laughs> because this is volumes one and two combined into one book. And it is called Quilted Mandalas and Patchwork Patterns. So I thought, hmm, that sounds like it's right up my alley. So I said, sure, I will review this for you. So this uh, flip through may be a little lengthy because of the thickness of this book. Um, but let's see what's all in here. So here we have the title page. Now, volumes one and two are available separately also. So I will link them down below also. But you can, like I said, get them combined into one book. Here is your nameplate page, which could also be colored. And then we get into the first design. Now, I have not seen these either, so it'll be my first time seeing this book. Well, that's pretty. And here's some with black in it, and I like that. These are fun to use um, your neon colors on. Oh, I like that. I could see, uh, yeah, using my gel pens in these. <laughs> so there are both mandalas and patterns in here. Oh, that's cute. As you can see, she has a lot of little uh, dotted lines throughout her um, patterns and her mandalas. So... You know, if you use a darker color, of course, those will be covered up. Lighter colors, you'd still be able to see it. Now, these are all hand-drawn designs by her. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each individual page because there are so many. Some of them are a little more simplistic, and then you get some like this. Oh, that's neat. I like that one, too. Which I always like. I like when there's a, a combination of the two within the book. Because sometimes, let's face it, sometimes we just want to color something that's simple. Just get color down on the paper. And other times, mm, we're in the mood for something a little more challenging, like this one. <laughs> oh yes, this is a book right up my alley. Some of the images I'm not sure if I would color. Like this one, very, very fine line work. And I am one that likes thicker lines, so I love the design itself, but I'm not sure. This one would be harder to color. Um, although with fine liners, that would work great. Oh, I like that too. She has some neat mandalas in here. Ooh. So then here you have her patchwork quilting designs. Yeah, I, I do like the mandalas in here. Now here's a more simplistic one. You know, if you just wanted to lay marker down on there, and these are single-sided pages, so you could use your alcohol markers in here. Here's another one with very thin line art. Again, fine liners would work great on there, and gel pens, I guess maybe water-based markers. Alcohol markers would not work great on them because of, you know, alcohol markers tending to bleed and spread. 
you know, even if you used your ultra fine uh, Sharpies or Bix or whatever, I think with that fine of line work, um, it would bleed outside the lines. My pages, my book is turning on me. I have not gotten any of Maria's books in the past, so I'm glad she sent this to me to review for her. Thank you, Maria, if you are watching this. Another more detailed one and a simpler one. Oh, that could be a fun one, too. So, yeah, lots and lots of designs. A lot of times I like to buy the books separately rather than having a lot of volumes in one book. Just because of the mere fact it's easier to handle the book, you know what I mean? Um, rather than, I know there are some books that are just huge or like, that thick and it combines volumes one through ten or you know what have you into one book and to me those are especially hard to color out of because they are just so thick hard to keep it open and uh, especially like me where i color in my lap in the living room um yeah they're they're kind of cumbersome books this one isn't too bad but like i said i think i would prefer them in separate volumes Although, buying them together is probably, I didn't check the prices, but, you know, it, it might be a little bit more uh, economical to buy the two volumes in one rather than the two books separately. Another fine line one. But there's not a ton of the real fine line uh, mandalas in here, but there are a few. And some of you like the the fine line work. There's a more simple one. So yes, great variety in this book. Oh, I like that too. Oh, that's neat. That one's a little more detailed, but ooh, I like that. That's different. Some more black in there. Oh, I like that too. I like a lot of them, can you tell? <laughs> All right, here, oh, this is unique. Here is a color test page that actually has some of the designs. Now, with the, with the uh, size of these and the way that they are drawn out, you could really color these in, cut them out, and maybe laminate them and use them for bookmarks. <laughs> I just might do that. <laughs> and then here are some more. That would maybe be an idea. And then there are a couple of blank pages. There are three, four blank pages in the back that you could also test your mediums on. In the back, um, let's see, it shows the volume one and volume two, and then it does show some examples of the mandalas and the patterns. And, uh, she says, if you enjoyed this book, check out our other coloring books and coloring journals on, and it gives the website scribblecreative.com slash products, and then has all of her, um, or there, I should say, Scribble Creative um, 
social media. So Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. So they're on all of the social media platforms. You can also subscribe to their e-news so you can get um, emails from them. So that is that book. Again, it's called Color My Moods, Quilted Mandalas and Patchwork Patterns. This one is volumes one and two. I will link this and volume one and two separately down below in the description. So thank you for joining me on this flip through. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day and as always, happy coloring. Bye guys.